me. So today we will discuss terpenes and terpenoids. So I am going to start natural products topic. So this is only for scientific officer uh, for physics science laboratory exam. This is a short explanation and this is enough for that exam. So let's move on to the topic terpenoids or terpenes. So what is terpene? Terpene is the major constituent of essential oils. So in essential oils, the main constituent is terpene. And what is the difference between terpene and terpenoid? In terpene, there is no ketone, aldehyde, OH group, functional group. In terpenoid, there is ketone, aldehyde or OH group, functional group is there in terpenoid. In terpene, the main unit is C5H8 n times. So terpenes are main constituent of essential oils C5H8 n times isoprene units. So the main unit of terpene is isoprene. So what is isoprene? 2 methyl 1 3 buta diene. So 1 3 buta diene. 4 carbon then 1 3 buta diene. On first and second put third position double bond. First and third position double bond. Then on second position methyl group CH3. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 1, 2, 3. Then 1, 2, CH2. CH2 double bond C, CH double bond CH2 and on second position methyl group. This is isoprene. Isoprene. So in terpene, the unit is isoprene unit and terpentine oil is uh, the main constituent of terpentine oil is pine and oil of cardamom terpenium, then oil of lemongrass citral, and oil of camphor camphor, and oil of roses geranium, and oil of lavender linalum linalum. Then oil of peppermint, mango. So just remember these essential oils and the constituent of these essential oils. So for terpentine oil, the pinene is the terpene unit. Then oil of cardamom, terpenium, lemongrass, citral. So citral gives the lemon smell. So camphor, it's camphor. Then roses, geranium and lavender, linalum. Then peppermint, menthol. So the menthol, geranium, citron, camphor is very important. We have to uh, look on in detail for these terpenes. Let's see the structures of some terpenoids. Very important terpenoids. So first one, myrcene. So this is very important. It's a previous year question also. The, what is the structure of myrcene? So C10H16 is the formula and this is the structure of myrcene. So, this is a acyclic monoterpenoid. This is not a cyclic, it is a acyclic. Acyclic monoterpenoid. Monoterpenoid. And second one is citral. So, we have seen citral, the oil of lemongrass ingredient. So, citral C10H16O. O is the, uh, o is the oxygen of aldehyde. So citral structure is like this, CHO, then double bond, then this is also a acyclic compound, acyclic monoterpenoid. So acyclic monoterpenoid example is myrcene, citral, geranium, then nera. So we will see what is geranium and nera. So when citral is reduced, we will get geranium. When citral is reduced with sodium amalgam and in presence of alcohol, you will get geranium. And when this is oxidized with silver oxide, then geranic acid is produced. And now trans E citral is geranium. So in this structure, when you write this in trans or E alkene, then you will get geranium. So this is geranium, this is trans. Opposite, so E and K. So trans or E citral is called geranium. So the isomer of citral is geranium. Now, when you write this in cis position, cis or is it alkene, then citral B is called neral. So the neral will be, uh, the structure of neral will be 
here hydrogen and here CH2. Trans cis is the citral B is narrow. So the point to remember is acyclic monoterpenoid examples are mycine, citral, geranium and nera. So next terpenoid is linalool. So we have seen linalool in roses and lavender. So linalool the molecular formula is C10H18O and this oxygen is of OH. So this is the structure. This is also a acyclic terpenoid. Then this is optically active. So this is important to note down. Optically active terpenoid is linalool C10H18O. So there is isomer for linalool that is citronella. Optically active C10H18O. Same molecular formula. But the structure is different. Here the functional group is aldehyde and linalool functional group is OH. So the structure is different. But same molecular formula, optic, both are optically active. So linalool is found in rose oil, minus form is found in rose oil and plus form in orange oil. So linalool is optically active and the isomer is citronella. So that's important to note down. And next coming to monocyclic terpenoid. So uh, till here we have seen the acyclic terpenoid. Now monocyclic terpenoid. So the examples are carbon C10H14O, limonene C10H16 and there is no functional group. This is a terpene, limonene C10H16 and carbon C10H14O and menthol. So we already see menthol in first. This is the structure of menthol is the all means OH group. So the functional group is OH and it is optically active. And the minus form is seen in peppermint oil. So I already said menthol is seen in peppermint oil. So the minus form is seen in peppermint oil. And the constituent is menthol. So it is a monocyclic terpenoid. Next category of terpenoid is bicyclic. So the main example for bicyclic terpenoid is alpha pinene. So the structure is like this, a bicyclic compound alpha pinene. So just remember the name and the category of the terpenoid. So we don't need the detailed explanation, the mechanism, the formation of the terpenoids. Just remember the name and which in which category it belongs to. So alpha pinene is a bicyclic terpenoid. And now bornane. Bornane is the general category name of a terpenoid and it is also a bicyclic terpenoid and in borne the terpenoid name is camphene. Camphene is a bicyclic terpenoid C10H18 terpene. Then this is the structure of camphene. C10H18O will be there. Then only oxygen will come. Now Wagner will be rearrangement. So we don't need the mechanism, just remember wagner mirubin rearrangement is used, the arrangement used in formation of camphene from borneol and bornyl chloride. So wagner mirubin rearrangement is used in the reaction of formation of camphene from borneol and bornyl chloride. Next one is acyclic sesquiterpenoid. So acyclic sesquiterpenoid examples are Pharmacy C15H24 Nero Lido. So we have seen Nero. Now it is Nero Lido. Nero Lido. C15H26O. Next, triterpenoid. The example for triterpenoid is scholin. So we have seen scholin in cholesterol uh, formation. Cholesterol formation. So scholin is the tri. Terpenoid. Now moving on to another category, polyterpene. The example for polyterpene is rubber. So let's discuss the topic rubber. So natural rubber is obtained from lactex of rubber trees. So lactex contains almost 30 to 60 percentage of rubber. So natural rubber is obtained from lactex of rubber trees. And this lactex is coagulated to a solid form using 1% acetic acid solution. So when you uh, put acetic acid solution 
and this is coagulated to a solid rubber and this solid rubber is sent through a roller and made into sheet and these sheets are again uh, smoked in vapors of tar oil so using the tar oil tar oil vapors these rubber sheets can be made more uh, more useful for commercial purposes so the rubber natural rubber is made from latex using 1% acetic acid solution to coagulate and then made into rubber sheets and this rubber sheets are smoked in vapors of tar oil and vulcanization that's another term important term vulcanization means the process of rubber converting rubber into more tensile strength more elasticity to give more elasticity and tensile strength we use vulcanization so what is vulcanization it is heating the rubber sheets with 3 to 5 percent sulfur 3 to 5 percent sulfur compound so sulfur is linked in between the uh, rubber natural rubber so vulcanization is the process where sulfur is added to natural rubber and the process helps the rubber to have more tensile strength and elasticity and the next term is gutta percha this gutta percha is what natural rubber another form of natural rubber where the arrangement is trans so in natural rubber polyisoprene unit are there so polyisoprene is isoprene unit and it is a polyisoprene so here cis arrangement in gutta percha trans arrangement the trans arrangement is shown here C double bond C then here CH2 then CH CH2 here a methyl group CH3 so this is a trans arrangement CH2 CH2 opposite side so this is a trans arrangement in natural rubber other than gutta percha the arrangement will be cis the CH2 will be here so in gutta percha the arrangement is trans arrangement we can synthesize the rubber artificially also that is called synthetic rubber. So the synthetic rubber is also called the buna. B-U-N-A. So buna is the substitute for natural rubber. So how buna is formed or synthetic rubber? When you polymerize butadiene with a substance. So co-polymerization of butadiene and vinyl cyanide give you buna N. And co-polymerization of butadiene and styrene will give buna S. These two are examples for synthetic rubber. Buna S is also known as per buna. And synthetic rubber example is buna S and buna N. Now another term is neoprene. So neoprene, the monomer of neoprene is chloroprene. Chloroprene means chlorine substituted in isoprene unit. So the monomer of neoprene is chloroprene. Just remember chloroprene is the monomer of neoprene. 